So see if your pull-out game is good. Ah, oh, you're impregnant him. Alright, first time towing with my airbags. I don't have a controller system yet, so what I have to do is manually fill it up right here. It's actually not even sagging that bad, to be honest. Very surprised. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to be headed down to Miami. I've got my truck all loaded up, and we have the Evo behind me. I am going to be getting into some adventures this weekend, tons of vlogs to come. Last time I was down here, I had such a great time with a friend of mine, Maria, and you guys are going to see her again in these upcoming vlogs. So be sure to check her out, follow her YouTube channel and her Instagram. I'll leave everything below. guys so I finally made it to Miami and today I'm going to be working on my Evo with Maria <laughs> you guys have seen Maria on the channel before if you have not be sure to check her out you guys can follow her below I'll leave her Instagram and her YouTube as well today we're gonna be working and we have Angelica as well so what's up Angelica what's up? <laughs> we're gonna be working on the Evo so I'm doing so much different things to the car honestly i literally came in with a list oh my god <laughs> but maria like has been working on evos for so long so i yeah. feel really comfortable working with her because i know she kind of has done this a million times we can be in and out um a lot of the stuff that i'm doing today is maintenance and stuff that i have not done in a while and i don't think it's been done to the car in a very long time so i'm sure a lot of these bolts are gonna be rusty and it's gonna be oh, it's gonna be fun but our goal yeah. is that we're gonna get everything done today yep. if not we have tomorrow for safety but right. We want to work tomorrow on some stuff on my car too, so... Definitely. So that's why you gotta follow her YouTube channel. Yeah. Check it out. Again, I'm gonna leave everything in the link in the description below. We're gonna have a fun weekend. We have so much stuff oh, yeah. planned. So much stuff. I had so much fun last time I came here, so I am so happy and excited to be reunited with Maria. Yes. Today should be fun. So right now, we just got here to the shop. So this is Maria's and her man's shop. Um, this is the shop we're gonna be working out of pretty much all weekend. Or I should say today and tomorrow, pretty much. Yeah. And then we have fun plans on Saturday, so... We just got here, we're gonna unload the Evo and then we'll get to work. different and one more of these because I, I always buy one in uh right there because i have uh the morose oil pants a little bit deeper mm -hmm. yeah i believe you put six that's fine yeah i think i did bro to get the catapulture out of the truck you have eight millimeters all right so our first stop well i should say second because we just went to advance and yeah, bought oil our second stop is where are we at maria we are at nippon power Nippon power. Yeah. Anything that you need that is like those parts that you just like at last minute you need and they have to be available, Nippon power is literally the place to go to. From wheel spacers to turbos and helmets and just like everything. Literally only like, what, 10 minutes from your shop, not even far. <laughs> Soon. 
sweet. We've got pretty much everything that we need now to do our oil change, I think. We were oil shopping. Change. Wait, we're doing an oil change. I need to install my oil cooler. So I wasn't gonna do my oil change, but now I was peer pressured into doing my oil change. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna be topping this. Yes. Originally, I thought I was gonna get away with just one of those radium plug-in fittings, but now we're gonna have to top this side too. So we're gonna top here and we're gonna top here. Then we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna reseal it. But I'm gonna show you the fittings that I just got here. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff we're gonna do on her channel. So check it out too. from the caliper to the rotors to the pads. We've got the whole entire brake system here that I'm going to be basically redoing on my car. You guys can see these are absolutely beautiful. I got a new set powder coated. We have the titanium bleeder. Shout out to DV from DC5 Performance for getting these brakes powder coated for me, adding the titanium bleeder and basically just getting it completely ready for today's video. So, as you guys can see, Today we did a lot of running around. I have so much stuff that I need to get done to the Evo. I'm gonna be installing an oil cooler. I'm gonna be doing an oil change. I'm gonna be doing interior pieces. But the biggest thing that we're doing today is changing out the calipers and the rotors, brake pads. Basically, like I said, we're doing the whole entire brake system to brand new, essentially. The brakes that I have on the car, along with the pads and rotors, were on this car for the time that I've owned it, which is almost two years, and I have never changed it. So it's pretty overdue, and especially now that I make more power, I wanna be able to brake better. So here we have the R1 Concept drilled and slotted rotors, along with their brake pads, and I decided to go with the Multul 5.1 dot brake fluid. Um, got the oil for later on. I don't think we're gonna get to that today, so be on the lookout for the next video for that. Today's main focus is going to be doing this. So I have Maria, who's gonna be helping me with this job, and we have Angelica, who's gonna be helping as well behind the scenes with everything. Hopefully this goes well. This car is from 2005. It's quite an old vehicle, and like I said, take a look, guys. This thing is so bad. The bleeders just leak before, and they're just really old and rusty. So I wanted to keep an OEM look. Instead of going with a different color, I went with the red. Because again, I wanted to try to keep it OEM. And I'm also getting new wheels and tires. They should be coming here tomorrow. So we're going to try to complete this job hopefully today. So tomorrow we can install the new wheels and move on to a different project. Ready, Maria? I'm ready. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get started. Brake line is right here and it is a 14 millimeter. Done. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> Alright, Maria, what are we doing over here now? We are cracking these 19. The rotor coming up. <laughs> so right now, what we're trying to do is remove this bracket that holds the brake pads in place, and I don't have this for the new um, calipers, so we're gonna try to take that off. All right, so this is a very simple procedure. You have the two pins. So the larger part is the one that you don't want to push through. You want to push this out. So you're going to use here makes sense. a little plunger and a hammer. And you're just going to tick, 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 tick. Take out the pins and then everything loses a up.
Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna put back the two 19 millimeter bolts. And then what we'll do is change out all the other calipers and disconnect the brake length so that we can flush out all that old fluid and put the new 5.1 brake fluid that we got for Joanna. That's gonna give her a better temperature, like resistant fluid for her car that's pushing how much? 800. 800, and that she loves to do a lot of digs and yeah. stuff on it. So that fluid's gonna be a lot better for her street car. Right, so essentially we're just flushing out the brake fluid because I'm putting in a whole different one. I don't even know what's yeah. in here prior. So I'm just trying to re do everything the way to my liking, I guess. This part, I didn't get that far as changing the brakes yet or the wheels, so I'm excited to be doing that in this video. So we're, um, yeah, we have a whole other side to go, so let's go ahead and finish. Wait, in the back, right? Behind the brake shield? Right here? Right here, yeah. Yep. I'm not. placed in like a different location because the caliper is a lot smaller and these are also in the back of the rotor they're not in the front of the rotor like in the front they are sometimes getting to like the, the top rear bolt is a little bit of pain in the butt but you manage it and there goes the brake line Whoa. because on the rear we have the way that the coilover is positioned and the fact that the calipers stay on the back of the rotor instead of the front of the rotor we need to add an extension and then to make our life easier we want to use one of these ratchets that are going to help us with torque so that we can remove that yes hole. so basically have to go in through here to reach the top one like that got it once you reach it there, just give it love. And there we go, we loosened it. Yeah. Well, this is just to loosen it. Once you loosen it, you can use a regular ratchet that will fit back there. Just know that your ratchet is going to be very close to your coilover. So just make sure you don't scratch it or anything like that, unless you don't care about scratches. You need a, uh, wait, wait, I got a perfect idea. I've always been my best friend. Here's a life pack, one on one today. <laughs> Honestly, if you have trouble getting a bolt off, and you don't have like a super long, the reason why we can't use this is because it keeps hitting. Beautiful. That is how you crack it. <laughs> Alright. All right. One's off. She's ready to come off. Yay! You might need a hammer just a little bit. Yay! Yay! Yay. And that, my friends, is how you remove the rear rotor. <laughs> and a lot of hammering. Anna Maria. Yes. Oh, Maria, shut up. <laughs> Alright, so we got one rear done. So Maria's working on the rears. I'm finishing up the other side right now. Oh yeah, so this one has a little plug you were telling me about. This a plug that's supposed to go here, like a lock. Which I don't have. That she doesn't have, so for whatever reason. <laughs> All right. So here's the new rear caliper. It's a lot better. And John also put new pads on it, even though she didn't need new pads. She wanted to have everything matching the same company as her rotors. So, place it beautifully. Now I'm just gonna put it in the back. Make sure 
sure that you don't lose these little washers. And again, to put it on, we're going to need the extension for the top piece. And we're gonna have to go down here. Make sure that you have your socket in tight there, and we're gonna add some torque. But remember, since you already have a lot of extension here that you don't over torque it, you will snap a bolt. Once you feel it tight like this, that's tight, that's it. Don't keep going, you will snap this bolt. Then for the last one, you'll need a short socket so that you can fit in here. Again, it's the angle of the coilover that's gonna cause you a little bit of problem back here. But nonetheless, with a few tools, you guys will be able to do it. which you usually start from the farthest from the master cylinder. So we're gonna start with this corner diagonally, and then I believe that one, and then you will come to this side, and then you'll go to that one for last, because it's the closest. So now we're gonna begin the bleeding process, and then after that we should be good to go, yay! <laughs> Yeah, we pretty much accomplished everything for today. Yeah, I'm so happy that was so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 